thinking about applying for a postdoc in Australia, but not sure if you meet the eligibility criteria. In this video, I will break down the requirements you need to fulfill to start your postdoctoral journey in Australia. Get ready to learn what it takes to qualify and set yourself up for success. Let's begin. Now let's talk about eligibility for postdoc. So the minimum eligibility for pursuing a postdoc is that you have to have a PhD. Yeah, so if you do not have a PhD, you will not be qualified to uh, apply for a postdoc position. Uh, or the other option is when you are applying for your postdoc, if you are nearly finishing your PhD, yeah, which, which means either you have completed writing your thesis and your thesis is in the proofreading stage, or it has been submitted for examination, or you have submitted the for thesis for examination and you have received some positive comments from the examiners and you're fixing them. So those are those options would be suitable or could be considered as eligible. But in the end, when you start your postdoc, you have to be a PhD holder. Another thing is you need a strong research background, including publications and conference presentations in top in top Q1 journals. So one thing that sets you apart from the others is how many research publications in Q1 journals you have during your PhD. So what I suggest to my scholars is that try to publish regularly during your PhD program. So as a PhD candidate, your job is not only to complete your PhD, but also looking forward in the future that if you want to get a job in academia, you need to have publications and the more publications you have in high quality journals, the better because it will position you very well in when you are applying for a postdoc position or if you are applying directly for a assistant professor position. So keep that in mind. Publications matter a lot in your <clears throat> in your job application for postdoc. And if you have other other than publications, what is it that you could do? So if you have done a lot of media where your research has been showcased on TV, radio, newspaper, or any such other media outlet. That is also equally important because it shows the impact of your research. So publications, media, and also you should have a strong professional online presence. So if you do not have a LinkedIn account, or if you do not have a blog or a personal web page, then I think it is something that you should do now because when someone is looking at your job application, First thing that they're going to do is to search your name. What you can do now is take a break, pause this video and look at or search what happens when you search your name. What information are you getting? And if you're not getting anything uh, reasonably good, this is the time for you to start building your online brand. So it could be a page on LinkedIn. It could be a blog article. It could be uh, what else could you do? It could be some videos maybe, you know, on, on YouTube, just about your research. Every paper that you have published, you can make a video about it. So this way you are going to be uh, set apart from the rest of the competition. So keep that in mind. It is very important. Another thing that you can also do, depending upon uh, your PhD and your progress in your PhD, you could consider publishing a small book or even a full, full book. That is also fine. But a small book like a Springer Brief is something that is reasonably easy to be completed during your PhD. So if you have finished your thesis and while it is being examined, you can talk to your supervisor and say that I would like to convert my thesis into a book and maybe a, a Springer Brief. So that will be also another thing that will set you apart from the others in the crowd. 